TLC is definitely not the channel you watch when you're looking for quality programming. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure by now you have all heard about the Miss Connecticut USA 2024 11th place contestant, Gabriella Figueredo. I had never heard of her and I've never heard of the TV show Smothered, so I was very curious about checking this out because I was just so curious to what would make her more qualified over somebody else. This show follows along the life of Gabriella and her mother Catherine as they go through life with an extremely toxic, codependent relationship. New York Fashion Week could be an entire week. Yeah, so I'll stay there for the week, whatever shows I get casted in, and I'll go and walk in A week? Isn't that such a fun? Away from me? Uh, no. I wouldn't it's even, just New York City, it's right there. I wouldn't even let you go without me for a day, never mind a week. According to the duo, they spend all of their time together, they even dress alike. Gabriella is a cosmetologist. I'm an inspirational author, writer. So we designed our work schedules to have the same time off so we can be together. And this show just doesn't focus on the relationship. It also focuses on Gabriella's dream of becoming Miss Connecticut USA 2024. Now, just for reference, her mother actually won the title back in the 80s. And due to her mother dying shortly after winning that title, she wasn't able to go the distance with the Miss USA pageant. So, of course, that means you then push that on your child. I want the Miss Connecticut USA crown because the day that her mom died, that's when her pageant journey stopped. But it was always her dream, so mm -hmm. I'm here to finish what she started and follow in her footsteps. One of the ways these ladies are prepping for the big day, they actually like to take celery juice baths. Yep, they fill a pool with celery water. They sit in it as they eat celery. So bloated. I know. It looks like I'm six months pregnant. I know. But... I guess we'll have to wait and see. Nothing's gonna go wrong. That's why we're doing the celery soak. Is it good for my coochie? It's good for the coochie. I'm very curious of the audience that TLC was going for with this because this seems more like an OnlyFans mother-daughter account as opposed to a reality show. At one point in the show, we learn that Gabriella wants to move to New York City and this is her mother's reaction. What, a, what about me and you? There's always gonna be an us, it's just, like, I just want to be on my own and on your own. Who, who's going to take care of you? Now, this is going to come to you as a huge surprise, but but Catherine actually has three daughters, Gabriella and two other girls. Catherine claims that she loves Gabriella the best, and honestly, I don't really think her sisters care. We just don't get it. We don't need to be here. Right. Museum, museum. What? We'll what? see you later. Our family's a little divided. It's pageants mm -hmm. versus scholars. Who would want to deal with that every single day? I feel like you need to be your own person. She barely has any life outside of working at the salon and preparing for pageants with Kath. One of the ways they prep for the pageant is by doing some test questions. Can you explain philanthropy and how it can be used to make a positive impact on society? I don't know what philanthropy is. That's a hard one. So we all know that she lost, and let's have a look at what she had to say about that. This year, there were only 19 girls in the entire competition, and I only made top 11, not top five. The audience was unwell. Now guys, I was on a reality TV show. I was the face of the show. I went on a national media tour. I walked in New York Fashion Week with Miss Universe, and I'm not good enough to make a top five at Miss Connecticut USA? Okay. But when you have a certain level of status, I guess they don't want you to win. They did not want me, they did not want me to win, and they did not want to give me more success. From what I've seen from her TikTok, as well as the reality show, I really don't see how that is more qualified to win than someone else. Somebody by the name of Whitney Sharp, she said, you deleted my comment. So here it is again. My best friend was the first runner up in the pageant. She is a mom, a fertility advocate, a director of a foundation, the wife of a starting Yankees picture. And you're saying that they didn't want someone with status. She is the definition of having status and still beat you all while having a kind heart. I'm so saddened that you don't know what the sisterhood of pageantry truly means. Now let's have a look at the actual winner of the pageant, Siobhan Clark. Connecticut is ready for a queen that looks like them. 
for a queen that loves like them and for a queen that feels like them. And as a first generation Jamaican American who is queer and proud and who is vulnerable about her mental health, I look like you, I love like you, and I feel like you. And that is how I will use my voice because I am you. So now that Gabriella's patent dreams are squashed and she made a fool of herself on social media, I wonder what her and her mother are gonna talk about going forward. Is she still gonna be her mother's favorite? And when I win, she's gonna come up on stage with her crown and sash. Yes, I'll be bringing it with me to the pageant. Oh, she brings it every year. Yes, I do. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below and I hope you all have the most wonderful day.